I'm good. Thank you. All right. So I was watching you do your demo earlier today, but walk us through cool. what you're going to show us here real quick. What do you got in front of you there? So this is the, uh, this is the Hydro Pro Plus sous vide immersion circulator. Uh, so during our demos, we're kind of running through uh, sous vide toolbox, which is a guided cooking experience uh, centered around sous vide. Uh, manual cooking features, so things that you can do with the timer, the probe um, for uh, delta cooking functions and uh, pass up uh, recording. Uh, and then also my presets. So if you say, hey, I, I'm not really into this sous vide toolbox or I have a little bit different preference than what's in there, um, I want to save it, you can do that too. So we're, we're doing that. And then we have our, uh, just out of frame here, we have our Control Freak um, Precise Temperature Induction Hub, uh, and we're doing some omelets uh, on that. Awesome. Now, is the uh, induction hub, I know we can't see it, is that portable or is that a built-in or what is that? Uh, it's portable, and if you'll allow me to re remove myself from the frame for a minute here, we'll kind of scoot over and uh, readjust. So it's, uh, so it's a countertop uh, portable model. Um, comes with a travel case. It's just a plug-in, runs on normal uh, 120 volt. Uh, we have 240 volt available around the world. Um, yeah. All right, excellent. And then, so talk to me a little bit. What I was interested in hearing during your presentation, you talked about Delta cooking. Yeah. How does the sous vide solution here, what is Delta cooking and how does it help with that? Okay, so let's, let's bring it, we'll bring the camera back over. So Delta <laughs> cooking. I got you, I got you rolling back and forth here. No, it's totally fine. I have this really fancy uh, folding table set <laughs> uh, uh, and uh, I'm propped up on some board games. Uh, so it's very dynamic. Um, all right, so, manu so we'll go into manual cooking. So uh, let's just say we're gonna cook a, a steak, let's say at a hundred and, we want a core of 135 degrees. I'm gonna cook it at 137. So let's say, so let's dial in 137. Oops. Always fun entering this from the back. Okay, so now it's gonna say, do, do, how do you wanna cook? With the timer or the probe? So I'll select the probe. All right, so the, the whole idea here is that my water bath is going to be set up at 137, but I wanna target 135 uh, in the core, I want my steak to be uh, medium. So I use this temperature probe, the hypodermic temperature probe, it's very, very thin, and you pierce the sous vide bag um, through, a, through a layer of uh, insulated tape so it doesn't break the vacuum, and then it'll monitor the core temperature as the food cooks. So you're cooking at 137 to a core of 135. Why would you do that? Uh, everybody thinks, you know, they cook sous vide. I want to put it in the food at the temperature that I want it, and I leave it there, and it's perfect. That's true, and you can do that. Um, but it's, sous vide cooking isn't exactly um, an expedient process. It takes a while. No. And with, let's say you have a one-inch steak. That'll probably take like an hour and 30 minutes to reach core temperature. It, it, so that bath 135 to a core 135 takes like an hour and a half. By cooking two degrees above where you want to finish, you can shave off between 30 and 50% of the cook time, depending on what the food type is. So in that steak example, it actually drops the cook time to about 45 minutes from an hour and a half. So being able to use the probe or be able to use sous vide toolbox, the fast cook feature that's in there that calculates that, um, that delta, uh, you can get you know perfect sous vide results with time savings. Okay, so that makes a, that's actually really useful because that's the big drag on sous vide is you got to get the thing up to temperature and then it's going to, like you said, an hour and a half. But what you're saying here is thanks to the probe, you're mm -hmm. able to, you can heat the water faster, higher. get it up to temperature. Yeah, higher, get it up to temperature faster so you can shave off a lot of time mm -hmm. uh, preparing that steak. And then you would take it out and take it over to the induction burner, I'm, I'm, I'm assuming, yeah. and then sear it on a special, on a special pan over there. No, you don't actually, no, the, uh, the control freak, you don't need any special cookware. So the control freak has a, um, through the glass sensor. So it's a little nubbin that goes through the glass and it's, uh, spring loaded. So it goes up and down as you move the cookware. So you're not going to, you know, break it off by trying to push a pan across it or something. Um, it, it, so this temperature sensor goes straight through the glass and it makes full contact with the pan. And so that reads the temperature and you can use any cookware that's induction ready. So stainless, uh, cast yes. iron is a great option, stuff like that. Okay. And then I was curious, because when I saw your demo earlier, you had mentioned the hypodermic needle. And I was like, well, how does that work? Because you're going to, like you said, pierce the bag. But what would, so when somebody gets, what are all the pieces together that somebody would get with this particular uh, 
kit, for lack of a better term. They all come with it. So I'll grab the, I'll grab my little sample piece of the, the tape here so you can see it. So the uh, the circulator comes with everything that you need. There's no accessory bits. We put everything in the box. We don't like, you know, a half solution. So um, so this is an example. This is called high density uh, closed cell foam tape. It uh, comes in like, I think it's a, a three foot measure and you, you just snip off about an inch and then it's got an, a food safe adhesive on the back. You apply that to the outside of the bag. And when you were a kid, did you ever take like a balloon, you put a piece of scotch tape over it, you put the needle in it and it doesn't pop, but then you hand it yeah. to your friend who's never seen it before and you make him pull it and then it explodes. Um, yeah. It's, it's kind of like that. So you put the needle through this tape and it'll maintain the vacuum. And then when you pull the, um, it's actually pretty good at self-healing. So when you pull the, um, when you pull the needle out, you can put it in an ice bath um, and retain some vacuum. I wouldn't cook in it, but you could leave it in the bag. And when, is this all of this available now? Yeah, for, absolutely. Uh, people? So we we launched uh, Hydro. So we launched Hydro Pro um, and Hydro Pro Plus back in November. Hydro Pro is available now. Hydro Pro Plus is available soon. We're just waiting on our shipment to go through the port. Um, you know, in California, uh, we'll have those very very soon. Hopefully by the end of the month. They're they're pretty much here. Uh, so that's available. Control Freak, oh, they're available as well. We have super high demand for them right now. So hopefully you find them when they're in stock. Uh, with COVID, we so many more people are cooking at home. And these things are just, we're just flying through them right now. But um, yeah, they're available as well. And then a uh, 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 guy in the audience, Scott Schubert, wants to know if there's a cooking guide or what you can cook with this or advice that comes with it. Or is there an online resource? I know you had mentioned octopus in your demo earlier, yep. which is something I had never thought to sous vide. Yeah. But, um, maybe you can answer that. All of the above. Uh, so, um, so we've been doing uh, sous vide technology since 2005. We've written a cookbook, our website, Polyscience Culinary. We have tons of helpful resources there, temperature guides and all of that. We have a book called Immerse. We have tons of videos on our YouTube channel. Visit us, uh, YouTube slash Polyscience, you'll find it. Um, we have tons and tons of video content. Uh, but the biggest innovation is what's in the uh, what's in the in the product itself, which is sous vide toolbox. So within sous vide toolbox, we give you a recommended time and temperature based on your specific food over so many food types. Like you said, octopus, uh, beef, poultry, pork, lamb, uh, eggs, lean fish, fatty fish, shellfish, octopus, uh, green veg, root veg, fruit, legumes, lentils. If you've never had lentil sous vide, it's going to change your life. Uh, <laughs> set custard, fluid custard, and yogurt. So basically anything that fits in one of those groups, their know-how is already in there. Okay. We had a question about a, a home style control freak. Yep. Um, I, I do. I, I mean, I guess is, is a control freak for a home or what is it? What are the different form factors for it or anything? So there's only one model of the control freak at this, at this time. Um, but yeah, it's available for home use as well. So all of our products, we build them to withstand the, the professional kitchen. That's our background is professional. We are, that's our tagline, professional tools for chefs and mixologists. So all of our equipment is got, um, you know, NSF approval, commercial, uh, electrical safety, um, sanitation, all of that stuff, but it's perfectly, uh, fine to use it at home as well. Awesome. Well, David, this has been great. Thank you so much. And you were doing demos.